10 reasons why your karate may fail. Number one, you don't understand anatomy and physiology. Frankly, what has been accepted as correct form in the modern era is often a, an inefficient and sometimes dangerous way to move the body. Karate used to be dangerous to those on the receiving end. The crazy thing is, as karate techniques have been made less and less dangerous to practice, they've become more dangerous for you. People blow out their knees, damage their elbows, their hips, and find that they can't do that kind of karate after they're older. This is because the emphasis went from effective self-defense to something that's sort of like a performance art. How it looks is considered more important than how it works. Success in self-defense depends on distinguishing vulnerable targets from strong ones. Here's an example. I, I always cringe when I see people punch to the head in uh, sport karate matches. Now, because these are not generally full contact bouts or death matches, someone gets to look really mean if he kicks the opponent, gets him in a good position, and then finishes him off with an impressive, easily seen punch to the head. You don't have to be uh, a medical doctor to figure out that hands break easier than heads. This is why boxers tape their hands and then wear padded gloves. Uh, you think they do it because they're humanitarians? Old style karate is very clear about this. Hard weapon to soft targets. Soft weapon to hard targets. Most parts of the head are so hard that not only would it injure your hand, but the hard structure of the cranium would prevent a lot of the shock of a punch from reaching the brain. But striking with the palm creates a reverberation within the skull that impacts the brain and will not damage the hand. The human body has some predictable weaknesses, but then you have to tailor your approach uh, according to variations in body type. Obviously you can knock out a pencil-necked geek with a punch to the jaw easily, but not a thick-necked linebacker type. A bodybuilder is going to be harder to get in an arm lock than an average person, but the strength in that arm can be reduced instantly with pressure at the right spot. Somebody who's really drunk or on drugs may not be stopped by a kick to the groin that would drop them under other circumstances. But everybody's brain is shut down by cutting off its blood supply or its oxygen supply or by disrupting the optic nerve or by hitting a neurological reset button. Old style karate focused on effective striking methods according to human anatomy and predictable physiology. This was part of the accumulated knowledge that was passed down by those who successfully applied these techniques. Modern karate has obscured this knowledge and changed the techniques in order for karate to be something that kids can do. Did you ever notice that uh, the modern karate dojo looks like a day school? Kids pay the bills. Nobody can afford to have the kids killing each other. It's bad for business. When I first started karate training back in the 1960s, a uh, uh, karate school was still a sort of slightly menacing place, filled with people who didn't fit in anywhere else. It was decidedly not a commercial venture.